Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolution.com. My name is Amit Sharma and I am going to show you today how to write a conditional statement in HFM Calculation Manager. So in previous two session I shown you how to write basic calculation. In today example, we are going to extend the same example and add a conditional statement. So there are multiple ways of achieving this. You can use a GUI component. Or you can simply write this script in our calculation, calculation and conditional statement under script part. So as you see in this example, I've taken a snapshot over here. The conditional builder enable you to create conditional statement. One simple way you can write it directly by using if statement. Alternatively, you can use a conditional component over here and write the conditions over here. Right. So you see whatever formula I've written over there, this formula gets executed only if condition is true. So what you write here gets execute if condition is true. Whatever function or statement you put over here executes if condition is false. So this fall under between begin and end statement. So in today example we are going to write a very basic expression. My expression is like this. We are calculating sale tax which is 10% of my sales. Right? And this calculation should take place only for the scenario dimension member actual. So typically we write hs.scenario.member if condition is true, sale test gets executed. Okay. So we discuss extensively about the HFM object hierarchy, functions and different condition statements. Today we are going to see how to do the same thing using calculation manager. So the way I am going to do it today, it's going to be in four, five steps. Step number one, I am going to write a formula then let me make it a little bigger so it become readable first i'm going to write formula then i add this formula in a rule then add this rule in my rule set validate and deploy and finally we are going to test it okay let's start so when you start calculation manager there are multiple views are there we switch to system view and i'm going to write this expression for calculate so expand your procedure called calculate and there you find multiple options rule set rules formulas I'm going to write one new formula right click create new formula and name the formula over here calculate sale tax right and this is going to be calculated for my application type consolidation which is HFM the name of my application is HFM application 1 and type of calculation is calculate. Click on OK and you see the expression window comes over here. Component designer, there you can write a com comments and expression over here. Your left side is your destination and right side is your source. So my destination is the member formula. I select member. The destination is a member, sorry, which is my account dimension member call I put the new member under TAMP variable call sale tax for the sake of testing on the right side my source is also member and which is sales under account dimension member I select sales third party So sales 10% is my sale tax, so I multiply by 0 0.1 is going to be 10%. You can write a, a comments over here as well. Save and validate, ensure that we don't have any syntactical error. Step 1 is done. I have written the member formula. I'm going to add this member formula under the rule now. So close this formula and right click and create new rule. Right click create new rule. Okay. Name the rule rule conditional statement I've written and between begin and end I'm going to add my member formula which I already created under formula section calculate sale tax and because I want this calculation to be taken place only for only when condition is true I write a conditional statement over here and put this formula under the conditional statement if conditions true, then only the sale tax gets calculated. Click on if condition and you can write a condition over here. 
there are two ways to writing it you can go to designer view or you can go to edit script if you're using a designer view you can write this iterate scenario dot member equals to actual behind the screen it will render the script save and you can check save and validate it passes now I can go to rule and look at the script right click and you can open the rule look at the script part of it right click look at open it and open this in a um, sorry let's open this in rule right click open the rule and look at the script edit script so there you can see the scripts based upon our selection hs.mam scenario.mam equals to actual if this condition is true then only sale text to be calculated once again you can validate third step after validation is done I'm going to add this rule under my rule set so go to your system view once again and open the rule set and add this rule under the rule set right click open rule set create new rule set rule set calculate sale tax applicant type is continued to be consolidation application and type of calculation is calculate now simple right drag and drop the rule which just now created conditional statement rule conditional statement drag and drop over here validate to make sure everything is correct and then I close this refresh my rule set is available conditional statement okay I can set timestamp over here as well now I'm going to validate this and deploy so switch to deployment view step number four validate and deploy open your HFM you got two folders over there to be deployed and deployed click on to be deployed click on the member you want to deploy it is modified not deployed yet so I can write a member which you want to deploy it is not deployed yet right click validate right click and validate this validation pass it turns out to be valid right and then I'm going to right click and deploy so my rule got deployed okay. right now what I'm going to do I'm going to test this output because I modify my rule application therefore I need to close my application and open again close application and open to test the output I open my data form over there so data form I'll input value to my sales and my sale text to be calculated so make it meaningful the intersection I want user should be able to put input value over here I make it ICP none I'll put the value under the sales sales third party for actual and budget and save it now if you look at it here in this example I got two members one is called sales sales third party and sales text to be calculated so we use right click and calculate so I put the new value over here right back let me make it maximize and three thousand three thousand I put over there for actual and budget both but as per our condition it should calculate only for actual right click my sale tax and calculate see it's 200 it turns out to be 300 10 percent of my sales in my sale tax once again calculate for budget budget did not calculate why because as per our condition calculation should take place only to actual not for budget once again open this rule and test it and ensure our rule is working as we expected so open rule right click open 
this is your rule condition statement if scenario is actual then only formula will take place right click on formula formula gets calculated alternatively you can look at the edit script so you see if condition is actual then only calculation take place sales tax will be 10 percent of sales this is exactly what happening over here for actual sales sale tax is 10 percent of sales but for budget the calculation is not taking place because condition is failed to meet over here so that's it for today the simple example in next example i'm going to show you how to write how to use a variable in the same conditional expression so subscribe to our youtube channel to access more videos should you have any training and consulting requirement please visit our site www.bispsolutions.com